Hello everyone, please welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my Lincoln Navigator. This is year model 2015. As you see in my previous video, that on my instrument panel, the engine light shows up. And when I ran the scanner, the code picked up P0430, which is a bank to the sensor side oxygen sensor is bad. I troubleshoot, switch the oxygen sensor from the sensor side to driver side and there was no change. That the oxygen sensor is fine, but the cat has an issue. So the catalytic converter gone bad. But before you replace the catalytic converter, I wanted to do the DIY work. The catalytic converter, they don't go that bad easily. It's a dealer's item. Before I spend a couple grand on my catalytic converter, I wanted to do the DIY work to fix my catalytic converter. That part I'm going to share with you, how you can fix the catalytic converter yourself. If the job is successful, then within $20, we can fix our issue rather than spending $2,000. If supposedly the DIY job fails, then I'm going to remove the whole catalytic converter, then I'm going to clean it myself, and I'm sure it's going to fix the issue. What I'm going to do at this moment, I'm going to get the lacquer thinner that I'm going to put it inside my Lincoln and then I'm going to take the Lincoln on freeway and I'm going to drive it. One thing we need to keep in mind that to keep the RPM level to 2500 and drive 400 or 150 miles. But one tip I wanted to share with you that when you take your Lincoln Navigator on the road, make sure that your tank is one third full. It's not a half full or full tank. The Lincoln Navigator takes 32 gallon. If you have eight, nine gallon, that will be a perfect to use the lacquer thinner. Because when we are going to put that lacquer thinner, then what's gonna happen that all the carbon build all the deposits built inside the catalytic converter, that going to get clean. Once we're gonna come back, then we're going to run the scanner code again, and if it fix the issue, then that will be great. So please come along, and let's take the Lincoln for the ride, and uh, I will share with you what exactly happens. I just added the eight gallons. So I finished adding eight gallons, and this is what I need to do. So I'm going to use this lacquer thinner to go in the tank when you need a funnel. So this is the one gallon, as you see, uh, we fill up uh, one third of the tank, which is uh, like we put eight gallon, a couple gallons were there, so we have like a 10 gallons. So this one takes a 32 gallon. So I'm going to open, this is one gallon, and now we're going to pour this one in. This is a good reason we need a big funnel. Whatever the easier way you put it in. And we empty out one gallon. Good thing that uh, it did not spill anything on the paint. If it, there is any, then good idea to wash it right away. After adding the lacquer thinner, now I'm going to drive the Lincoln before I take off. I'm going to reset the core. So this is the scanner I'm going to use. First we're going to hook it up and as you can see it start launching and we're going to read the codes. As you see that uh, there is a uh, seven already and one code is saying it's not completed and that's we're going to read it. So we're going to read the code and this is P0430 and it's saying catalytic system efficiency, blow threshold bank 2 and it's a pending. So we're going to clear the code. As you see, seen, we clear the code and not the vehicle showing, no fault codes. So now we're going to drive it and then we'll test it. After resetting the codes, what I did, uh, I'm going to reset the, my trip meter also. So now we'll see how many miles uh, I drive, then we're going to test the code. So 
So it's a good idea to take it on freeway. Other thing I'm gonna do, I'll change this one to RPM. I'm going to keep the RPM to 2500. I'm getting on freeway. Now we're going to drive at the speed of 2500 RPM constantly. Continuously we can monitor it. After resetting the cords, O2 sensor showing up, the heater core, EVAP, and CAD. So you've seen the scanner is hooked up. I'm continuously monitoring my scanner. On the other side, I'm at 2500 with 80 mile. So I'm going to see the traffic running smoothly at 80 miles per hour. I don't want to go over the speed. But if the traffic is running, I will go with the flow. If we look at now that O2 sensor and heater core, those two passed. And uh, EVAP and CAT still need to be ready. And if we look at how many miles we drove before O2 sensor and the heater core passed, let me go on the trip through. We drove 14 miles and the O2 sensor and the heater core, those are passed. With 85 miles with the 2500 RPM, I don't uh, suggest that you should drive fast, but I'm driving with the flow of traffic. The traffic is uh, pretty nicely moving along with the 80, 85 miles. In case if you have a question that uh, what is the temperature outside and inside the vehicle, Inside, I kept it 65 degree Fahrenheit, and uh, outside, we are having 88 degree Fahrenheit. Only reason I want to show it to you in case if you're wondering what is the temperature outside. I will check the trip meter. I believe I drove almost uh, one hour, and now I'm waiting for any exit, and I'm going to pull it out. And if we look at right now, I drove 62 miles. On the next exit, Exit, I'm pulling it out. Now we'll go back on the freeway again. Now we're going to drive back home and it uh, will be the same thing, same speed. And I will share with you if any changes happen. Oh, I drove 100 miles. So I'm back home. There is no change on the scanner. And uh, if we look at now, the trip we did 132 miles so it took me hour and 58 minutes so i'm back home after driving two hours and now i'm going to share with you what's the next step in order to make the cat ready these lincoln need to driven between 45 to 40 miles as you seen we drove 132 miles and now i'm going to drive in the city so we're going to reset and let's see how long does it take. So we're going to start our monitoring and we'll see how long it will take to get our cat ready. So far there is no changes. And if we look at right now, we drove 35 miles for hour and a half in the city. The gas is empty. As you can see that the tank is showing up. I'm pulling up on Costco gas station and we're going to fill up the tank. We done with the lacquer treatment and now I'm filling up the gas again, fill the tank, then we'll be driving more so we can keep our gas ready. Now we need to drive more. Good news, it's a success job. As you can see, it's a 58 mile. I drove 35 miles and then there was no change on the scanner. Went home, had my dinner. And now we drove another 23 miles. And if I can show you, everything is passing. It's already, the cat has been passed. 
EVAP is a very easy to pass in the morning time. You can start it, you let it idle for 10 to 15 minutes, it will pass. Everything is good. This is success job as you can see it. I'll drive back home. I'm very happy. We didn't have to spend that much money. Within $20, it all passed. I'm very happy that Lincoln Navigator job is successful. As you've seen on OBD scanner, all the code shows everything passed. There was no engine light on instrument panel, and I took it for the smog task. The emission control has been passed successfully. So that means my catalytic converter did get clean. Catalytic converter is functioning fine, is working perfectly fine. With the DIY job, the catalytic converter has been fixed. So within $20, I fixed my catalytic converter. If I have taken this one to dealership and get it fixed or taken to the repair shop, it could have cost me fortune. I fixed my catalytic converter. I hope this video will bring a smile on your face if you have an issue with your Lincoln Navigator. It's not only Lincoln Navigator, any other car, any other SUV. If your catalytic converter showing that it's failed try this diy fix and this will fix your issue if you like this video like always like share and subscribe my channel and for more lincoln videos please subscribe and thank you bye bye